Hey everybody, man, it's Monday, and dude, it was so busy at work. Uh, I had to have a couple of shots and a beer after, but I wanted to talk about, I got the all the Haunts BRs box set from Seven Films. I got it, uh, when did I get it? Uh, I think I got it Saturday, and um, god damn it, let me read so it's 12 Blu-rays, 3 CDs, 20 feature films, plus 15 hours of special features and more. Uh, the most comprehensive collection of its kind with the definitive genre documentary of our time. Kier Laud, Janice's award-winning Woodlands, Dark, and Days Bewitched. From there, experience 19 of the best known, least known, rarely seen, and thought, lo thought lost classics of folk folklore horror from around the world. All restored from the best available vault elements, including... Eyes of Fire, Lepterica, Witch Hammer, Vi, Lake of the Dead, Tilbury, The Dreaming, Kadaicha, Celia, Allison's Birthday, Vilchica, Locus, a manuscript of Professor Whit Whitmbach, Clear Cut, Il Demonio, Dark Waters, A Field in England, Anchoress, Pendus Fen, and Robin Redbreast. Yeah, so I watched uh, Eyes of Fire, the first. I'm just going to try and go in, go in order and watch all these. And Eyes of Fire was great. Um, I don't know what to compare it to. You know what, though? Like, I'm sure you've seen The Witch. The guy who made The Witch must have seen this and was totally influenced. It's weird. It's... It, it, oh, it totally, like... Um, it just drew me in. I, 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 wanted, I, mean, I wanted to like it. I wanted to see it. And I liked it. It, um, yeah, it totally created its world. It, I was immersed in it. And I was with it through the whole movie. I'm going to watch it again and again, I think. It's, uh, I don't know what to compare it to um, off the top of my head. I mean, it's not, it's not like, um, it's not like the Boxer's Omen or, like, Italian, it's just totally American, like, and it's from 1983, it's about these, uh, settlers, this, uh, lady, her husband's a trapper, but he's away all the time, so she falls in love with a preacher, uh, th their little village considers them sinners, so they, along with, uh, like, another, a, a small group of other friends and neighbors, they, they just take off down the river, they get attacked by the French and the Shawnee. And so they make their way into this valley, I think. And there's just uh, an evil in the woods that besets them. And yeah, it's visually, like, the effects are really good. I guess because uh, it's remastered. And it looks almost like a brand new movie, but it's from 1983. And, and it's just weird. Uh there's no gore, but there's so much weird stuff going on and cool special effects that it didn't really matter. Like, I, I didn't expect it to be like a gore fest or anything, but I really liked it. Um, I can't imagine that any of the other movies are going to be as good as Eyes of Fire. I have, I'm really looking forward to um, Tilbury. I hear, I hear Clear Cut is really violent and bloody and gory. And, um,. Uh, Oh man, there is one. Uh, oh, Allison's birthday. I'm looking forward to that one. And then another one. Oh, I can't remember. There's one more. But I'm going to watch one right now. I'm going to try to rev keep reviewing it. Um, I, was, I don't know if I'll read the book. I want to, but I have so much, so many books that I'm reading already in comics and zines and stuff. But this was really expensive. It was like $187. But you could buy the Blu-ray, and I think they have a DVD of, of Eyes of Fire, which I give, uh, man, I don't want to give it a 5 out of 5, but it is really good. I mean, it, it, it is what it is, it knows what it is, and what it wanted to be, and I think it totally succeeded. Um, so yeah, I'll give it a 5, why the hell not? So, all the Haunts BRs, the... Um, I'm really glad I got this, so, you know, 
take it from there.